Welcome to TradesPoint and episode 2 of the only trade in view tutorial series you'll ever need. Today we focus on alerts, how to set them up and how to get the best out of them for an easy life. They also add a degree of patience to your trading, so if that sounds like something you'd like to know or a refresher on, then this is a video for you. If you find it helpful, please leave a like or a subscribe. This is not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm Jamie, welcome to TradeSpotting. And welcome back to the charts. In episode one, we covered, among other things, adding and editing indicators, including the stochastics, the RSI, and our EMAs overlaid on top of price action. We also starred various intervals so that they show up for our convenience in our top menu here. Similarly, we investigated the watch list and how to search for and add tickers. All of these are ticks and techniques, ticks and techniques, tips and tricks to make your life slightly easier. That is always the objective with these tutorial style videos is to make your life easier so that you can then get better at trading because you'll have more time to do worthwhile and effective technical analysis. You'll have less clutter on your chart and in your head, so you'll be better at spotting opportunities you might otherwise miss. You'll also spend far less time clicking and scrolling, which I find far more calming. And knowing I don't have to do that is a great relief. Speaking of making your life easier, barking with the dogs and bending with the irises, there is another tool on TradingView which can really help add an element of zen to your trading life. That is alerts. You can add them by clicking the alarm clock icon on the right here and up comes this plus, which will, if you click, loads your alert with the parameters already entered. Bitcoin USD, that's the symbol we're currently looking at, and your action that triggers the alert. Crossing is selected by default, you get the options of crossing up and crossing down, which aren't wildly different. And then a variety of other options, which again, aren't all that different and amount to the same thing. Value, that's the price. It's pre-entered when you click the alarm clock icon at the price, which currently is when you click. You can choose to do it once or every time. And your alert will either expire when you say, or it'll be open-ended. Open-ended is not possible on a free account, but that's not much of a muchness when you can set this to be whatever suits. And your alert action. So when the alert is triggered, how do you want to be notified? By a pop-up, very handy if you're watching the screen. And I think yes, it'll also play a sound, choosing the type of sound you want there, not really relevant, but um, that's handy if you're looking at the screen. Another way to be notified, which I find to be an absolute godsend, is send email. And this is the real strength of alerts. It allows you to get up and not be looking at your screen. In fact, you could go anywhere in the world and have it send you an alert when the price breaks the point at which you've set it to. So you also set up an alert on your email so that um, when emails come in from the TradingView alert function, that you have a specific sound notification on your phone. You don't even need to read that email, right? You'll just know that your alert has been triggered. Another way of setting alerts is right clicking on the screen and then selecting here, add alert. The difference there is initially you'll see that the price that's entered for your alert will be at the point at which your crosshair was when you clicked, as opposed to the point at which the price was when you click the alarm clock up here. Aside from that, it's all very much the same. And an amazing tip that even some experienced traders don't know about alerts is that you can set them to go off on top of your drawing tools. So say, for example, you recognize there was a trend line in and around there. It only touches it twice, so that's not valid, but for demonstration purposes, there we go. Three wicks, and that's reasonably good. Don't try this at home, folks, for demonstration purposes only. They, um, to add an alert, you just right click on the drawing, add alert on trend line. Now, this is an amazing feature um, because normally, uh, when you set an alert, should you decide that the pattern that you were looking at actually wasn't valid, it was something else, and you want to change that alert, you'd have to go and drag the alert around. Um, but if you 
I set it to a drawing tool and then subsequently change that drawing tool. So, for example, add and learn on trend line. Um, and notice that a common alert phrase used by professional traders is whoop whoop double exclamation mark. So, create. Now, you'll see up comes this icon on top of our drawing. That means our alert on this drawing is active. And if we then change this drawing to here, for example, I don't know what that is, but let's say we've changed that to there. In fact, let's make it something that's real. Put it up there. If this trend line is broken, despite having set the alert on it at a different price, now you've changed the area in which your drawing shows up. If the price then breaks through that, you'll be notified. So you can change your drawings and it changes your alerts automatically. Oh my days, that is a brilliant feature. Thank goodness for that. Now, after you've done that, um, there's the three different ways of setting alerts. After you've set your alerts um, and you've done your technical analysis and you've put in your orders based on what you expect to happen and you set your stop loss so you've got an exit strategy if it goes against you and you've set your profit taking level so that you've got an exit if it goes the way you expect. What then do you do? Well, this is the most important stage. You go to the airport. To the airport. Eh? You get on a plane to somewhere sunny, you head to the beach, on the way past the bar you pick up a cocktail. You spot a shady palm tree on a nice bit of the beach. You sit there and you listen to the tide roll in as you scrunch the sand between your toes and you let Trade and View do your job for you. Because the truth is, when they make it this easy, you can't call it work. You'll no doubt have noticed that there are a plethora of drawing tools on the left here most of which have options behind them, so even more than you might have expected. And they can seem to the weary eye laid low by information overload. They can seem unnecessary. They could even seem intimidating. But don't worry, I'm going to break it down for you into easy to follow steps. I'll show you the best tools and how to get the best of them. I'll show you the purposes and the benefits of each. And you'd be right if you suspect that in here there are some hidden gems that could improve your edge or help you hone your edge. You are right. And I am going to spill the beans on all of them. After episode three, we will be swimming in beans. So if you like beans or you like to know how to use the drawing tools better, come back in episode three and you'll have all the beans you could wish for. See you then. If you can't figure it out, or your phone doesn't support it, or it's simply not possible to set up a particular sound notification for emails on your telephone, then another alternative you have, which is widely popular, it's been around for a long time, and it's free or at least very low cost, is email to SMS gateways, whereby instead of typing in the email address of the account you'll be sending the message to, you type in the phone number followed by the gateway code offered by your service provider. Now there's a link um, I'll put in the description to digitaltrends.com where they describe the process and give you a list of various providers um, and their codes. But wherever you are in the world and whatever your provider, whoever your particular provider is, this will be different for everyone so be sure to look it up and double check it but if you do get it set up it's a really good way of um, knowing that your alerts have been triggered without even having to look at trading view and that wraps up episode two of the only trading view tutorial series you'll ever need i hope you're now comfortable with the idea of creating and editing your alerts so you can leave your charts and still be comfortable knowing the price hasn't exceeded your expected range. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you want to know how to get the most out of the drawing tools, come back for the next episode where I cover the best of them and show you how to get the best out of them. I've been Jamie. This is TradeSpot. <laughs>